Now, I first heard about the term or learned of the term internalized capitalism from Bonnie Bliss, who is a pleasure expert. And in the podcast that I was listening to, when she explained this internalized capitalism, I was like, what? (laughs) That's a thing? Because this has been so prevalent in my own life. And I thought that that was just the way that I was built. I thought it was the way that I was made. So internalized capitalism says productivity above everything. Internalized capitalism makes us believe that there is no time for pleasure. It makes us think that pleasure is self-indulgent and something that is inconvenient and something that takes up a lot of time and doesn't really add any value. And internalized capitalism tells us that we should only enjoy pleasure once all of the work is done. Now, the biggest problem that all of us experience with this internalized capitalism, which by the way is a direct result of the hyper-masculine world that we live in, So if you think like this, if you have this experience of being driven by productivity, then it is not a reflection of you as a person. It's a reflection of what's going on in the world at large. Now, here's the biggest problem that we have with internalized capitalism. And that is not only do we put productivity above everything else, but we also connect our self-worth to our productivity. We connect our self-worth to our output. Now, the way that we typically address this productivity monster inside of us, and maybe you recognize this this in yourself. So you know that you are driven by this, this urge to complete things and make sure that all the work is done and that it is difficult for you to find any value in your day unless you can like tick off all the boxes. So you might recognize this in yourself and you also recognize that this is an unhealthy behavior because it it makes you exhausted, it makes you so tired. And then what you do is you decide that you are now going to take better care of yourself. You are going to have regular self-care sessions. You are going to rest when your body is tired and you are going to put some boundaries in place in terms of how you know, often and how fast you reply to your email, for example. And then you're able to do this for a short period of time. And before you know it, you go back into your own pattern or you go back into your old behavior. And the reason is because you're trying to change this internalized capitalism, this productivity drive. We're trying to change it from the level of the mind. And it actually lives in the body. So here enters embodiment. So what embodiment means in a nutshell is it is to inhabit the body. So typically we spend most of our awareness in our minds. So you spend a lot of time thinking and you also end up thinking about your feelings and your emotions and your challenges more than what you feel them in the body. So embodiment means that we inhabit the body and that we are present to the feelings and the sensations that are in the body. And to me, embodiment also means that we become intimate with the body. We become intimate with all of the textures and the sensations and the feelings that reside within. And this is where our true feminine power lies. The feminine is flow and fluidity and expression and even chaos. And all of that is inside of us. That is part of our life force energy. So living in an embodied way allows us to really connect. And becoming intimate with ourselves means that we really dive deep. And we don't only explore our tender hearts, but we also explore our deep fire. And we come to face our shame and our guilt and we integrate those shadow aspects of ourselves that keep us playing small and that hold us back and that don't allow us to speak our truth and stand 
in our sovereignty authentically. So here's the thing, you can only speak your truth, you can only stand up for that which is alive inside of you when you know what that is. When we live in a full and embodied way, it also means that we open ourselves up to pleasure. We de-link this pleasure as a reward mindset. We de-link that my self-worth is connected to my productivity. And we, we open up our capacity to experience more pleasure. You probably know by now, if you've been watching a few of my videos, that I'm in training as a feminine embodiment coach. And by the time, depending on when you watch this video, I'm either going to still be in training or I will already be qualified. So if any of the things that I spoke to you in this video regarding embodiment, regarding living in an embodied way where we are connected to our aliveness and our pleasure, and where we stop apologizing for our emotions and the way that we show up in the world, but instead we show up in our fullest self-expression. If anything of that has landed with you, then I want to invite you to jump onto a free exploration call with me. It's a 30-minute call where we can discuss and explore how feminine embodiment coaching can help you stand in your truth.